Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avadon 2. Last episode, we started the game and are following along with a uh, scout named Silk, or Silky, but I prefer to call her Silk, I, it makes more sense. And, well, we've learned a few of the differences. I mean, the combat is still the same. Graphics, well, there's some nice added things. Outhouse, well, actual ladders, barrels that look like barrels, all that sort of stuff. And we also have traps, which we beat, which we defeat by beating them into submission. Yeah. It's just a piece of machinery can can't communicate at all. Anyway, we've explored a bit so far, let's keep moving. She's somewhere around here. There she is. Silk is staring at a thick tangle of brambles. Looks like it would take hours of sweaty work with machetes to clear a way through them. Then the scout kneels and pulls aside a large clump of dried grass, revealing a narrow tunnel through. Then she looks over at you. Silk is trying to act unconcerned, but you've traveled with the scout long enough to see through her act. Our patrol is coming to an end, and with it your training. I'd like to know more about how you disarm those mines. In due time, for now I suspect that we need to hurry. No more training? In the last few weeks, I have taken you through all of the areas you will be patrolling, showed you the, li the hidden paths, taught you what little I know. Now we are going to head back to Rockridge Keep, and Commander Odil will ask you a few questions. Such as? Just questions, to determine where you are best placed and who you want to work with. That's why I wanted to talk to you. Say what you need to. I just want you to know that I have enjoyed traveling with you. You are competent and generally good company. I want you to know that if you want to be teamed up with me for patrols, I... I would not me... I would not mind. Oh, I'm flattered. Silk grows even more nervous. This is not about flattery, but survival. We would be trusting each other with our lives, after all, but I still need to know what you think. Oh, I'm eager to travel with you more. She s Silk smiles. It's hard to tell through the dust of the trail, but you think you see the tiniest sign of a blush. I am pleased. I think that will increase our chances of survival a tiny amount. amount. But I suppose there is one more little thing. One more thing. Silk looks grim. Yes, one thing. We need to get back to Rockridge Keep alive. Let's hurry. The scout crawls down through the tunnel through the brambles. You make it sound so ominous. I have good news. We can return to Rockridge Keep. There are a few more paths we can check, but I think we'd better return and report back what we've seen. Stand back, I'm going to hide the path again. You move safely out of the way. Step back. There. As Silk disguises the path and conceals your tracks, you hear something to the north. Someone is hacking their way through the undergrowth. It's quiet at first, but whoever it is is getting closer quickly. Of course, it doesn't take long for the scout to hear it. Odd. I wonder. The scout walks toward the thick brambles to the north, motioning for you to follow. That is odd. Silk rests her hand on her weapon and watches brush to the north. Be ready. I've never heard a Wildroom raider make so much noise. I doubt it's a problem, but we should wait and see. And then the invaders hack their way out into the open. <coughs> Run! You both see who you are facing. Silk gasps. I don't know how I missed this. How could they have... The ogres look no less surprised. They stare at you, not sure what to do. Silk takes a step back, looks at you, and says, This is no minor raid! Run! Flee from these creatures? They are ogres! Even if we could kill them, our mission now is to warn the fort. Run! And she does so, not waiting to see if you follow. The ogres, dim creatures in the best of times, stare at you, unsure what to do. Won't be long until they come to a decision. Right? Running! Whoa! Okay, that did not sound very good. Oh, Jesus, what the hell is going on? You see an encampment on the road ahead. Your spirits fall at first until you realize that these aren't rebel invaders come to cut you off. There is a blade master of the Kava sitting at the fire, just drinking from a mug of steaming liquid. Silk pants. I know him. He's decent. Let him know what's happening. When you enter the camp, he calmly sets down his mug, stands, and looks at you. I'm Watcher Gamal. You seem concerned. Approach and report. The Kavah Blade Master is waiting for you. Stop a moment. Tell me what is happening. Is it World Room Raiders again? I'll gladly spit them for you. What were those explosions? The Watcher shakes his head. 
I don't know, but they come from but they came from down the road. Explosion, hot wind, big cloud of dust. We're just getting ready to go investigate. <sighs> Ogres, they're coming. Run. Gamal seems taken aback. Ogres, here? Well, we aren't running from their kind. You move on and report to the keep. We'll stop them here. There's a horn hanging from his belt. He removes it and raises it to his lips. I'll stay and help you fight. He looks you over and smiles. A generous offer, but I think you would be in the way. No offense. Your job is to spread the news. You follow Silk. We'll be fine. He blows a long, clear note on the horn. Any of your allies in the nearby woods now know that something is wrong. Right ho. Come on, Silk. Let's get out of here. I'll not stop. As you leave the relative safety of the packed encampment, there is another explosion not far to the south. The ground shakes under your feet, and a cloud of dust and sulfur smoke washes over you. You, you catch up with Silk as she looks with disgust at the results of the explosion. A heap of boulders and logs covers the road to the south. Ah, oh, Farron, you're all right. Good. The scout points at the debris. We could climb over that mess quickly enough, but... You see what she is pointing at. Several large mines. They were concealed by a thin layer of dirt and that the blast cleared away. There are just a few vis visible, but I'm sure there are more. <laughs> I like the option of panic. Can we disarm them? In time, perhaps. If the invaders don't catch or kill us, or if a concealed mine doesn't slay us, wouldn't be wise to try. What do we do? We need to get our information to Rockridge Keep, but only one of us needs to get through. We need to split up. Are you sure that's wise? No, but I believe it's our best chance. If we split up, we won't be able to fight as well. Farron, this is an invasion. If we have to fight, we're probably dead. How do I get to the keep? The main road south of the keep is not far away. Take the larger path west from here to get to the other road. If you head west, it won't be long before you find a landmark you recognize. The smaller, harder to find paths are to the east. I'll go that way. The important thing is to hurry. The sooner we get word to Commander Odil, the better our chances. The better our chances of what? Surviving. Either of us. What do you think is happening? Something big. Bigger than any of us saw coming. I only wish... I wish I had gotten more time. You try to ask what she meant by that, but she shakes her head. I'll be going, then. You turn to leave, but Silk puts her hand on your shoulder. Fair and I... I wish... I wish you the best of luck. Don't be so pessimistic. Silk looks down the east path and sighs. I wish... Well, time to get on with it. We may meet again. Enough time wasted. Go! You nod, turn, and walk away. When you look back soon after, Silk is already heading down the east road. Great. Well, that that doesn't look very pleasant. Alright. Well, here's a sheet. No, shield. And can't use it. Okay. Iron short sword and shield. Oh boy. And it looked like there was something up here. Oh, just a couple rats. Okay. Wait for it to get closer, and... There's a lot of things happening not here. Yeah, that one's dead. Alright, get to those two rats, and we'll check the nest for anything. There we go. Animal skin. Don't need the cloak or the dagger. Heh, <laughs> cloak and dagger. Potion speed, lovely crystal coins. Okay, and I just realized I had second wind. I completely forgot I actually had that. Oh well. Oops. Looks like there's someone here. That's a dead end, but there's someone here. Just ahead, two bands of warriors face each other around an abandoned campsite. A fresh body is on the ground nearby. Then you get close enough for a good look. You aren't hugely up to date on the politics of the area, but you can easily recognize two packed warriors on one side and a crowd of Wildrum rebels on the other. Unaware of your presence, the rebels attack the two vastly outnumbered soldiers. Then one of the packed soldiers notices you and does something you didn't predict. He points at you and shouts, Abaddon! Come to rescue us at last! This has a dramatic effect. The rebels turn and notice you panic on their faces. Yes! Avedon is here at last! Lay down your blades! The rebels look truly terrified. Even in its state of decline, the name of Avedon still has the ability to inspire terror. The rebels still attack their prey, but they are clearly shaken. Ha-ha! Okay, then. Quick, get to them! Weakness curse. <laughs> okay, that works. But, uh, we need to save them. 
definitely. Ooh, nice. There. Do what you can, keep them alive. Help that one. Very nice. One more. Can't quite reach him. Oh no, we can. Just managed to reach him. Okay. The soldier is understandably grateful that you saved his life. I thought I was done for. You ask him how to get to Rockridge Keep from here. Just take the path south and go east. You'll find the Rockridge Road in no time. South and east. Gotcha. Alright, silver necklace, potion of speed. You can sell the necklace. A little organizing there. Okay. There's one dead body. Some coins. Leather greave, definitely useful. And leather jerkin, also useful. Better than the tunic. <laughs> like pants for your chest! <laughs> we don't need a tunic, I don't think. Alright, let's keep moving. South and then east. Alright. Oh boy. Oh, hello! A wolf! I did not see that wolf. Well, it's dead now. Looks like there's more down here. Yep, more wolves. And a Wilhelm rebel. At least the wolves die easily. This is a full-on invasion going on here. Alright. South and then east. Here's more rebels. Let them come closer. Good. Looks like this used to be a uh, logging camp. There we go. Ooh, another uh, animal skin. Alright, move on. Looks like we found the road. With great rel relief, you return to the main road heading to Rockridge Keep. All you need to do is follow it south and you'll be able to find the fort and make your report. There are no obstructions or guards. The way seems clear. And then you hear something to the east. Footsteps. Something huge and loud. Something fast. You decide that it would be prudent to get out of the way. Conceal yourself behind one of the stone pillars that marks the path to the keep. That doesn't sound good. What? From your hiding place you watch in horror as silk runs down the road from the northeast. The scout's forehead bears a fresh wound and blood runs down her face. Then as you start to step out to offer aid, she notices you and waves you back. When you see what is chasing silk, you do what she wants. Oh dear. Is that a titan? Silk is fleet of foot, but she is completely unable to outpace a titan, especially wounded. And that is what is giving chase. An armed titan, twelve feet tall, with a throwing rock in one hand and a massive club in the other. The Pact exiled all Titans to a desolate peninsula far to the south under threat of death if they ever leave their lands. For these creatures to be aiding the rebels is bad news. Silk realizes that she is unable to outpace her massive pursuer and sh so she turns to face him. Hold still, little thing. Why? Feeling tired? This is going to hurt. You don't scare me, Farlander. The Titan stares down at your companion and laughs. <laughs> Your taunts amuse me, little thing. I am Chorus the Hunter. I never lose my prey. Silk starts to snarl a retort, her voice choked with pain. However, before she can speak, the Titan's fist lashes out. You never imagined that a beast so large and clumsy could move so fast. Ah! Silk. And a moment later, Silk is on the ground. You back up into the shadows as the Titan looks around for other packed soldiers. With a nasty laugh, he picks, up, he picks up Silk's body and slings it over his shoulder. Then he and the ogres turn and walk back up the road. Oh dear. Once again you are alone in the clearing. You survived and the road to Rockridge Keep awaits you. A grim journey with ugly news to report. Silk is either dead or a prisoner. Considering the blow Silk took, you couldn't say which is more likely. Oh dear. Silk. That's... Oh dear me. 
There's more traps here. So we're not going up that road. It's like down the road to the keep is the only path we can really take. The road south to Rockridge Keep lies before you, clear and unguarded. You are where you need to be, but you didn't get here without great cost. It's time to go and warn the keep. Walk south onto the shaded area to leave this region. You'll be on the world map where you can choose to travel to Rockridge Keep. The war begins. And we leveled up. Oh, more strength, definitely. Uh, at least getting cleave would probably be nice, I think. I like that idea, honestly, personally. Yeah, get, get that, I think. At least then we'd have cleave. Which will help out in the early game, I'm sure. We'll slowly work our way up. I, I'd like to get Triumphant Roar, and Blade Sweep would also be useful. But we'll work on things and get things improved over time. <sighs> Nothing over here. Lockpick. Okay. Yay. <sighs> Great. Anything else around here? Another path that's been blocked off. Small camp here. Potion of battle, that's something. And some coins. Alright. Well, let's get out of here. There's contested territory, the wild realm, the titan peaks, and there's the rebel lands. Oh, so that's where we are, and that's where we need to go. Okay, then. Alright, let's see. There's a harrowing trip here. Running down side roads, avoiding bands of ogres and wildroom rebels. But you made it. The spires of Rockridge keep rise from the stone peaks above you and to the south. At last you can enter and give your report to Commander Odil. Then you see the lines of smoke rising from the keep. The wind occasionally brings the sounds of screams and metal clashing on metal. You finally note the many fresh bootprints in the mud on the road. There's a battle going on here. To give you a report, you'll need to pass through the battle lines. Somehow, I expected something like this. Rockridge Keep is to the west. Okay, the west. Wait, to the west? But it says we're supposed to go south. Oh, no wonder. This is just like a dead end with rats. Okay, I understand. We have to go around to get to it. Diseased rodent. Oh, that's wonderful. And we got poison. Should probably kill it so we don't have to worry about it. Oh, no, wait. It's... Okay, then, just to make sure... Give it a savage blow. Hey, one more hit and it'll be gone. And no more disease. There we go. Now the rest of the rats... There we go, there's the cleave. Glad I chose that. And it's dead. Okay. More animal skins. Coins and a short bow. Definitely useful. And another lockpick. It's probably going to be hard to find lockpicks. There's a trash pit. Don't there's any... Nope, nothing in there. Okay. As you walk around the stand of trees, a woman catches sight of you. She is human, in her thirties, exhausted and covered with scratches. She is clad in steel armor and her sword is in her hand. When she sees you, she waves and runs to greet you. As she gets close, you see that she has a familiar symbol on the chest of her armor. She is a blade master of the Kava, and the symbol marks her as a hand of Avedon. She is a member of the most fearsome elite band of warriors tasked to defend the pact, and she is determined to speak with you. I know you. The blade master approaches you, sword in hand. When she gets close enough to see you clearly, she nods. I wasn't expecting to find you, but I'm glad I did. You're Farron, yes? Yes, I am Farron. She nods. I am glad to hear it. I am Kalida, Blade Master and Hand of Avedon. She gives you a casual salute with a mailed hand. How'd you know who I am? Commander Odil gave me descriptions of his scouts before he sent me out. What are you doing here? Slipping through the enemy assault, looking for scouts to rescue and isolated foes to slay. Hand of Avedon goes where she is needed. I'm trying to get to the keep. And so you shall. Odin, Odil will want to see you, and I will make it happen. 
Come, the gaze of Avedon watches over you now. You're a hand of Avedon? Something very odd happens to Kalita when you ask the question. She opens her mouth to respond. Then she freezes. Her eyes glaze over for several seconds. She stands perfectly still. And then she starts moving again. She looks confused for a moment before saying simply, I am. Um, are you alright? She s shows no sign of understanding what you are referring to. Only a few scratches. I had to dispatch some rebels on the way out here. What do you do? I hunt the foes of the pact. I use the power and privilege given me by Redbeard to hound our enemies without restraint. I welcome your assistance. Ka Kalida nods. I am glad. Not that you could turn it aside. If the Hand of Avedon decides in an act, that act will occur. I was traveling with a scout named Silk, who fell to a Titan attack. Ah, my condolences. I received her description. This knowledge should be passed on to Odil. What is our plan? Go west and enter the Keep Gate, killing all who stand in our way. No foe of the Pact will live unless battle would meet in our assured death. Then we will run and find another way. Move on. You continue up the steep road toward Rotridge Keep. Kalita moves to walk at your side. You have been joined by a Blade Master. Blade Masters are skilled with blades, can wear heavy armor, and can use war cries to strengthen their allies. In combat, she is under your control. You and she will take turns acting in combat. As you proceed, other characters will offer their aid to you, and you can choose which of them to take with you on adventures. Really now? Well, okay then. You know, I'll bring your endurance to five so you can, and same thing with the cleave. Okay. So it's west that we're supposed to go? Fine, we will shortly. I just want to see if there's... Well. This is interesting. Okay, fine. Short bow. Wretch sappers. That's not good. At least we can do something about them. Okay. Alright, get in there and help her. Come on. There we go. Alright. That's a couple sappers dead. Clay bricks. Silver necklace. Steel short sword. That is... Definitely better than what I'm using. I've also got an iron short sword. That would be better than what she has. She could also use the pants, the cloak, and that. Why was she not wearing pants? I don't know. At least we managed to stop those sappers from blowing through there. Alright. Let's get over there and deal with this. Gonna be a bit of a fight, I imagine. Want coins, leather boots, leather jerkin would be worth some coin, and we got a fight coming. Wounded ogres. He's tough. As you approach the Rockridge Keep, you meet a band of warriors fleeing the other way. Wretches, Wild Realm raiders, and a wounded ogre fleeing the keep. Their attack must have been repulsed. They stop and size you up, clearly interested in simply walking around you and heading to safety. Exhausted from your journey, you consider letting them pass. But then Kalita raises her blade. What is before me? Foes of the pact? The only penalty for your offenses is death! Hands of Avedon clearly have their own way of approaching these situations. Okay, you could have made a better choice there. But very well. Okay, there's a cleave at least. We'll do what we can to kill the other minions before we kill the re ogre. Sorry about that. Ignore that. Alright. You can also do a savage blow and second wind. Savage blow works. You finish off that hunter, and you fight the ogre. Come on. And there we go. Okay, good. That's those guys who were retreating taken care of. Oh, more rats. Alright, let's kill them. Huge woods rats. Rats. Go one more, 
and good. Alright. We got one more animal skin. And another one, and another wooden shield. That'll go to you. Alright. Let's get over there. There's the battle lines. <laughs> Dead wretch. We'll try and kill as many of these guys as we can. Oh, hello! You were hiding. Okay. Okay, get over to them. Rich warrior. When did we... When did he get... Oh, yeah, because he leveled up, probably. Okay. There go those wretches. At least it's only wretches, and a couple ogres. And not the more titans. That would be even war more worrying. That looks like it's the main entrance in. Well, let's clear out what we can around this place. Probably a wise idea. Young Hellhound! Oh dear. That's concerning. Kill the hellhound. Tough as he is, we can kill him. There we go. Perfect. Oh dear. Someone got caught out here. Coins, steel dagger, and more pants. And there's more wolves out here. Young dire wolf. Work on what you can. Come on. There we go. There goes the dire wolf. Animal skin again. Looks like this is the nest they were... They were building a nest. That's a little concerning. All right, we don't need anything else here, I don't think. All right. And it looks like we made it. Back to Rockridge Keep. All right. Yeah, we made it. Oh, dear. Well, there's a couple bodies here. Some coins and other leather jerk and we can sell. You and Kalita enter the north gate of Rockridge Keep. The evidence of an attack is everywhere. You see dead wretches, scorch marks, and several shattered walls. This is as far as the rebel assault reached. They did some damage, killed some soldiers, and fled back into the hills. Kalita surveys the damage briefly. More damage to report to Avedon when I return. Minor, but worrying. Why so worrying? Because wretches are like ants. See one today, and you will see fifty tomorrow. They're dead wretches, but not humans. For some reason, the wretches and other humanoids are serving the rebels. In return, the rebels send them to die first. She runs her fingers through her hair, failing to bring any order to it. Don't worry, when the real attack comes, the shamans will be along in force. When will you return to Avedon? She starts to answer, but then she stops. Stops talking, stops walking. She freezes in place for several seconds. Then she starts moving again. What just happened? Kalita looks embarrassed. Did I... pause again? Yes. I apologize. It happens from time to time when I think about Avedon. Since I am a hand, and thus always out in the field, it does not matter. Do not let it concern you. That must cause some problems. It has affected the range of missions I have been sent on, yes. But I am not concerned, as long as I can still serve Avedon. So, why does that happen? It is a private matter, and hands of Avedon are not generally questioned by outsiders. So when are you returning to Avedon? As soon as I can. Events here need to be reported. I will go as soon as I have taken you to Odil and met with my colleague. Your colleague? His name is Yannick, a fellow hand. He will most likely continue here while I report back. He is camped with the soldiers at the moment. Let us continue. Agreed. I will see you through. Commander Odil's tower is to the east. We must proceed. She walks on. Okay. A little concerning what happened there. Hopefully, I imagine she may be one of our 
future Eternal Companions, a Blade Master for our side. That said, we've made it to the fort, and we will investigate the fort in the next episode, because this one's gone on long enough, I think. Okay, that was an exciting one. <laughs> okay, next episode, Into the Fort. Till then, I am Chester44, that is Farron and Kalita. This has been an Avidon Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.